In this demonstration, we will take a look at how to insert a zoom area into a Captivate project. Zoom areas can be used to draw the learner's attention to important sections of a slide, such as a button or link that might be easily overlooked. A zoom area consists of the area you want to highlight and the zoom destination, which shows the enlarged view. You can add timing, transition, and audio options to the zoom effect. To add a zoom area, open an Adobe Captivate project and select the slide to which you want to add the zoom effect. To add a zoom area, click the Insert menu and then select Zoom Area. The new Zoom Area dialog box appears. Use the tabs within the dialog box to edit the properties for the box. On the Zoom Destination Area tab, enter the options that control the general appearance of the box. For example, you can specify frame color, which is the border color for the zoom area, fill color, which is the fill color for the zoom area, frame width, which adjusts the width for the border, and fill transparency, which is the degree of transparency for the fill color. Select a value from 0 to 100%. A value of 10% is less transparent or more solid than a value of 90%. You can also select a background image for the zoom area using the Select Image button. Use the Clear button to remove any previously selected image. The Preview area displays the settings you selected in the Appearance area. The Size and Position tab allows you to specify the position of the zoom area on the screen. You can also enter a specific size for the zoom area. You can also select the Constrained Proportions checkbox to lock the proportions of the zoom area. If you resize the zoom area, the proportions of the box will remain the same. Once you have entered all the properties for the zoom area, click the OK button. The zoom area and related destination appear on the slide. If needed, you can resize or reposition the zoom area or destination. Please note that the Zoom destination area always appears on the top layer, no matter where it is placed on the timeline. Let's preview the slide to see how the Zoom area works. When you preview the slide, the Zoom area is displayed. For more information on working with Zoom areas, consult the Captivate Help System. This concludes the demonstration on inserting a Zoom area into a Captivate project.